Hello and welcome back to the Nihil channel and back to the labyrinth. I skipped some over some stuff, so uh, I skipped over the run back, so you guys don't have to watch that. We are deep in level 3, um, but I haven't done anything new. Uh, the only thing that you have missed is that on the way Pyra leveled up and now has Blaze level 4. So, that is going to be neat. Captain is still here, hanging out, um, being my, my guide to get us back here. And now I have no idea where we're going. That's right. So we're going to go all the way down here to the end. And this is going to be about where we got before we lost everything um, a couple episodes ago. Okay. Good to know. So we don't want to go up here, I'm assuming. Well, we could. Um, we can get some mithril ore that way. It's a little bit out of the way. But if we want to get some mithril ore, we can. It's just a question. Do we want to risk level four at this point? Not yet. Okay. Let's finish level three, then we'll move on to four. Sounds good. That's that's kind of my where I'm at. I remember these highlighter guys. I don't remember if they were scary, though. I feel like those enemies in general are scary, but we also realized on the walk back that these minotaurs also use a freeze spell that does almost 50 to the whole party. So I think we'll just characterize everything as dangerous. Uh, yeah, that sounds like a good plan. <laughs> um, we also talked while we were doing the run back about movies, and it reminded me that last week um, I ended up watching the first, or I guess there's only two, um, Conan the Barbarian movies. And uh, they're from, I forget what years, but it was Arnold Schwarzenegger. And it was just a very... Uh, very light-hearted fantasy stuff, uh, and I just wanted to recommend those both to viewers of this channel, because it definitely, uh, I haven't seen a movie that I've been like, oh, that's, like, very Shining-esque, um, because things just aren't unique enough. <laughs> Nothing is u as unique as Shining Force, but, um, yeah, it just was really, uh, really great, like, the attitude I like from fantasy. I don't know, have you I've seen never those? Seen, I haven't. I was going to say, that's as somebody who's a big fan of Arnold, I have never seen Conan the Barbarian or Conan the Destroyer. Uh, I know them very, very well, right? Their reputation is uh, that they're great, but that's no, I can't say. Um, Do you want to try Blaze Fouring it? No, I want to use that on a big group. Okay. Well, it's interesting you say that. I wonder, is it is it a group attack, or is it like the first, or Shining Force 1, where it's a single unit heavy damage? I feel like that thing didn't have a ton of health. No, that was not as difficult as I was expecting. Um, I don't know. But the only way I'm going to figure that out, too, is if I use it on a group. Because you don't get to select an individual. Yeah. Now, you say that there are only two Conan the Barbarian movies. That's not entirely right. We've been down this. That we, This was the very last thing we did the previous episode. It's the false okay. wall. There was a guest behind it. These are... I think we haven't seen these before, either. No, I, I would recognize those purple noses. Ooh, that was a good crit. How hard do they hit? Pretty hard. But I'm going to go through stereotypes and say trolls don't use magic. Good guess. Okay, so we did that. So th now we need to go this way. Right. Oh. Okay. Okay. But there was one other Conan film, and it starred Jason Momoa. Not yes. before anybody knew who he was. I've not seen that one, and it apparently did not do well. That I can say is true. I don't know if it was good or not, but I know that nobody nobody watched it. Um, well, after seeing the two ones with Arnold, um, I don't know why, like, I wouldn't want to go see another one that badly. Fair enough. Like, I'll a lot of great. I might watch it. I don't know. Like, depends. It just kind of depends on how much time I end up having, or if I have, like, easy access to it. What were you There's say? a lot of great actors in, in those Conan movies, like Conan the Destroyer's got Andre the Giant, it's got, funny enough, Wilt Chamberlain, who of course is not an actor, but who is a perfectly intimidating presence. Um, yeah, and the main villain is James Earl Jones. Is he? That's interesting, I did not know that. Yeah, it's really weird to see him, like, 
in person standing there because I'm so used to like him being Darth Vader or something. Like I'm used to his voice, but it's mm -hmm. weird to see his face showing like <laughs> while he's talking. That was a good use of slow. That made Milo a lot stronger. Yeah, I, I was hoping that that would be a good use of that. The crabs are a little bit scary again. A little, but that's not too bad. Um, okay. But yeah, I love, I love the, uh, I've never really done anything with Conan. I know it's still a pretty popular series, um, by the numbers, but I just don't know much about it, never have. Um, mm -hmm. I actually kind of was a little bit biased against it, because I was like, oh, like, you know, the idea, I guess, is that he's just this big, dumb barbarian, and, like, in my mind, I think I associated that with the writing as well, but the writing on those movies I thought was pretty clever. Do I want to go that way? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I kind of expected the movies to be, like, big, dumb movies, I guess, and that just was not the case. Oh, okay. Light Helm. Um, you want to help me out? Well, it's an armor of light, which I guess we've not gotten. This is our first armor of light. Uh, this is the arms of light that were spoken about by, I think it was one of the king's advisors. Okay, so it was the Light Helm. So is this a hero thing? It is. Okay, so we'll give the Steel Helm there. Of course, only the hero can wield the hat of light or whatever. Of course. Oops. It should help with his defense, though, because goodness knows he could use it. Oh, yeah. Okay. I mean, yeah, that's pretty good. All right. So we'll continue. A lot of these dead ends. I don't know why I would go down them. So, I know where that puts us back out, because I saw the back of that door. But is there yes. anything down here? No. No. Okay. On a whim, I just I was going to look up who, who wrote Conan the Barbarian, because I know it's fairly old. Yes. The picture of the guy, I mean, he first of all, Conan the Barbarian was written in the 20s and the 30s. So, I'm assuming I would I come down here and go right. Yes. Oh, yes, you do. and then we're going to go up. Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah, I started reading about it after. Yeah, and the guy who wrote it looks like Al Capone. Like, not even kidding. He's a big-looking guy wearing a f uh, fedora and a suit straight out of the 1930s gangster films. That is not how I pictured him in my head. No, I wouldn't have guessed that either. But uh, apparently, you know, gangsters can write barbarian stories. I guess so. But yeah, those were just cool little, not very complicated movies. But they didn't need to be complicated. Ooh, that's a lot of things. Um, those mages look new, too. Yeah, they do, which makes me not like them. Okay, let's... Oh my All right. gosh. Good call waiting on the big group. That's amazing. So it attacks every group. Yes. How much MP was it? I wasn't looking. 15. It's a lot. A lot, but bearable. Oh, meat zombie. And they do 10. Okay. But only to one enemy. That's not too bad. Or one of us. That's not too bad. Yeah, that's definitely not too bad. What is this thing? Okay. Um... I mean, I barely know what to, to make of this. Pyro wipe them out with a well-placed whip attack? Or do we want to see a yeah, sleep at? That makes sense, too. Yeah, let's just sleep everything and try and get less damage. Uh, that didn't Ooh. super work, but... 30, hitting one of us is not bad, comparatively, at this point. No, it's really not. Uh, that's not great. 
No more meat zombies. Okay. We'll do that. And I guess we'll start working on them. I was gonna say, I wonder if plus the blaze four, if they were close and they were. Yeah. Yeah, he hits hard. All right, we're gonna have to heal here. Cause that was a lot. Um, so you said off air too, you could talk a lot about movies. Are you just a big movie person? Yeah, I am. I like movies and I like talking about movies. Like I love to listen to, to people who have studied film, talk about film and like, it's given me a whole new perspective on how to watch movies. Like not in the film snob way of, oh, you know, this movie is, is not actually good or anything like that, but kind of the opposite where it's like, there's a lot of movies that I used to not like and I didn't really get why everybody else liked them. Mm. And it wasn't until I was able to like, just listen to them talk to really appreciate, you know, what is it about a film that they like? So, you know, what is it about the way that they use the camera for cinematography? What is it about like, when it's a really well acted movie. When I was younger, I was all about movies like Conan the Barbarian, where who cares if the acting's bad, because the action is fun, and that's really all I'm about. But now it's like, oh, well, if a movie's, it's kind of boring, but the acting is really good, then it, there's still something to watch, which drives my wife crazy, because she's not about that kind of stuff. She doesn't have the time. Life is too short to watch a movie that's kind of boring just because the acting is good. Mm. I kind of agree. Uh, I'm just really into movies where I can tell the people making it had fun making it. <laughs> like, if you have fun making something, I kind of have fun watching it. Yes, I completely agree. This is a weird example, but it's the one that I always think of, and my family and I always talk about this, it's just a movie where everybody was clearly having fun. I don't think that it's a great movie, but if you watched any of the Oceans movies, the, you know, what is it, mm. uh, George Clooney, Brad Pitt movies? Yes, I've, I've not seen them, but I know what you're talking about. And yeah, they seem ridiculous enough that, like, people, you can tell people are having fun. Yeah, Oceans 11's a great film, just full stop, great movie. 12 and 13 are not, but you can tell that the people making it were just having a lot of fun. And have Milo just heal himself back up there. Yeah, good call. Yeah, I think yeah, I find I've myself talked... just... Go ahead. Sorry. Go ahead. No, I... <laughs> I find myself... Uh, I, I think I've said it before. Um, I watch a lot of, like, the Full Moon movies, which are these, like... It's a horror movie studio that uh, they just make goofy horror movies even today, and you can just tell, like... It's very, like, 90s feeling. It looks like mm -hmm. a dead end. Um, but even the ones they make today are, like, kind of 90s feeling. Just this stuff you would have found in the video story that you wouldn't know what is. Uh, fun mm -hmm. kind of stuff. Yeah. Well, and those movies can sometimes lead to great things. I mean, some of the, some of the great people who make movies today, that's where they got their start was goofy horror movies. Like, I don't know if everybody knows that, but... You know, Sam Raimi, the guy who did the Spider-Man movies, he did the most recent Doctor Strange movie, he did Evil Dead, which, like, you know, people say Evil Dead today is amazing, but Evil Dead is a goofy horror movie made by a bunch of people who didn't really know what they were doing, but it turned out the guy directing it was a really good director, and so he took a movie that was, frankly, kind of stupid and made it something special. And then uh, James Gunn, Donald, you know, just did the Guardians of the Galaxy movie. That's where he got his start was stupid goofy horror movies so yeah i mean to your point it's like if they're having fun it's worth it and i think more importantly if the people doing it care about what they're doing then um it can be really special yeah for sure i will say i am very very down on the marvel movies <laughs> Oh, I am too. I think the last one that I saw was The Last Doctor Strange, and I fell asleep halfway through. I have uh, watched a handful, because I've had friends that are super into them, so I've like gone to the theaters with them before, and I just haven't liked any of them. Yeah. I was really into the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I was fully invested from... I didn't see the original Iron Man in theaters. 
I remember going to see the Hulk not really caring. I remember I didn't go to see the Thor or the first in Captain America in theaters, but I saw all of them eventually on, on DVD or Blu-ray, whatever. Mm. And then when the first Avengers movie came out, I was ready for it. Oh. That's one of those armed skeletons from Shining Force. It is. I wonder if I'll have a machine gun. It doesn't Hi look like it. I hope Hira not. is still... I was hoping to take a couple steps so she wouldn't be um, paralyzed anymore. So oh, I'm just gonna... not a good part, yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna undo that. Oh my gosh! <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's think for a second. Let's do that. You do that. Let's let's focus on not dying here for a second. That seems like a good plan. All right, eighty nine is a little bit more manageable, but oh man, only barely. Um, I don't even know what I want to like. So we have a couple of options. We could try to we could try to use quick, or we could try to use boost and slow, or we could try to sleep. Um, I think we start with a boost on hero because I know it will work. Yes. All right, forty six isn't horrible. I also know that hero every time is going to attack. Yes. Uh, let's just heal three again. This is so. a pretty serious thing. Um, and we'll just sleep two and see if we can sleep him. No. I wouldn't be surprised if this is an enemy that's immune to sleep. Maybe. Oh, we beat him. Okay. Whew. So the first entrance here on the left is going to be the staircase. And then the, stair the, the, the one after that is the thing that we neglected to bring, which is the medallion fountain. Yeah, I realized that a little bit on the run back. So, I'll probably move that off camera, and we'll just press on for now. Welcome to floor four, officially. Yeah, so we've not been at the entrance to floor four, have we? No. No. Uh, Alright, let's go left first. Okay, let's go right first. <laughs> And we'll just see what awaits us. I have really no idea. We've seen these guys. Yes, we, they had a lot of health, but weren't too da weren't too damaging. Yeah. I mean, that was a little bit. It's those damn double attacks. Yes. We'll just fix him up real quick. Okay. Uh, I'll save the trouble. Don't go that way. Okay. It's a loop. There's absolutely nothing to see there. Okay. Is that part of it? No. Okay. Well, let's go right first. Just one of these? I think this is a new variant of it. I think you're right. Okay. Yeah, I was like... That still is not a boss, though, so it should be fine if there's just one. The Griffins, surprisingly, are not hard either. They don't have very much health, it seems. Yeah, I would agree. I say that, and then they do 40 to the whole party. Okay, that's what they do. Good to know. Because I don't think I'd seen them do that yet. Yeah, we've talked about in prior episodes, like, my being pretty over Hollywood at this point. I'm doing a lot of foreign films and stuff. Still am. Um, I actually decided to... I, I talked about, um... I was exploring Chinese shows for a little bit, because I just knew nothing about that. And wanted to get outside my comfort zone, or what I'm used to, so... Um... 
Oh, that's great. I am about to wrap up one called The Long Ballad that was like the top romance drama. <laughs> um, it was like a period piece. I decided to do that to really try something new. And it's been okay. I'm a little What's bit wrong surprised with it? that... I'm just surprised for like it being the top rated uh, that it isn't better. Hmm. Oh, that's new. That's cool. Dragon spawn. Okay. Um, there's nothing, like, super just wrong with it, other than it took me a really long time to figure out what the story even, like, was gonna be. There was a lot of times that it was just like, okay, we're settling, you know, into what we're doing, like, we've got our cast of characters, and then things would radically change, and that wouldn't be our cast of characters anymore. And it was like, oh, okay, so I don't know what... Like, our settings changed, uh, the, our goals have changed. It just took me a long time to kind of get my footing in it and figure out what the story's gonna be. Well, um, that's interesting, because that sounds very much like a anthology show, and those are very popular in so good, another herb these water. days. Yes. Um, it's not an anthology show. Like, we still have the same main character. Um, it's just that I keep thinking, oh, it's gonna be, you know, this is what we're gonna do. And then that's not what we're doing. I think part of it is that it just takes too long to tell the story that it wants to tell. Mm. That would definitely be one of my criticisms so far. And it's weird, like... Because I'm really into very long stories. I'm not put off by that at all. Um, I think I just want her to hang out. So, like, for movies, you cannot show me a movie that is too long. But for this, I mean, it's like 49 episodes, I think. But there's just times that I'm like, uh, I just don't think we need to take as long as we are on some of these things. Yeah. I thought that would kill it. Yeah, I did too. This guy's got a lot more HP than I remember. I think last time we used that slow, I think it made a huge difference. I think so. But yeah, it's it's not horrible. Like I'm still making it to the end, but I'm in I'm in the home stretch now. Um, but I don't know that I would recommend it at 49 episodes. Yeah, we'll go that way. What is... okay. I don't know if I want to I'm guessing it'll do. I'm guessing it'll do paralysis when it works. Alright, I think we just go all in attacking them, because they seem to attack as a group. I appreciate that. Yes. Uh, that's a little bit annoying. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I think we just... Oh no. Yeah, that's pretty bad. No! <laughs> We all got paralyzed and it kills us? Wait, so if everyone's paralyzed, we lose? Oh. Lovely. Do we lose half our money? Yes. Wow. Did not realize that was the stakes. Hmm. So and here's. Plus, you don't need to use the tavern. Yeah. Well, we didn't get all our stuff back. It didn't give us all our MP back. Oh, it didn't? I don't think so. Oh, I, was, I guess I wasn't looking all that closely. That's funny. So if you're paralyzed and you all die, you don't even get your stats back. That's crazy. Okay, so it's almost worse than death. Yeah, that was pretty lame. 
All right, we got, uh, we can sell the helm we had. And then we can sell the extra herb water we got. Yeah, I think that's a fair point. I think that's all we have to sell. One more herb water there, unless you want to keep I wanted to it. keep one. Okay. In case we come up against just a super powerful magic enemy. Okay. All right, so I planned to do it off screen, but now you guys are going to get to witness the run back uh, where we take the medallion. <laughs> so let's search and take our medallion back. This is what the viewers said that they wanted. It is. We're going to No, not this way. Not this way. Okay. I'm going to go south. There you go. All right. Um, do you want to guide me? I do. Yes. We'll get there. Oh, go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Take the medallion out of the fountain. I did. Oh, you did. Okay. Sorry. Yes. I was looking. I was checking the map. Okay. As long as we've got both pieces of the medallion. I'm fairly certain it said I do. I can vision it just to double check. Double check. Magic medallion. This should be used at a special fountain. Okay. I think it's. I think we've got both. Okay. I, I can extra double check. I don't, cause yeah, I don't want to do that run back again. Let me kill all these real quick. My fast forward's not working. Why did Pyra just attack once? I think just you had her attack the tree instead of them. I don't think so. Then I don't know. Interesting question. Uh, I think we. Let's bolt. I think because she died, it unequipped her thing. Oh, that's a Because it was cursed, thing. and so it got yeah. rid of the curse, which unequipped it. That's my guess. A very good guess. Okay. So I hit search. Yeah, now we discover nothing. So okay. we're good. All right, so re Before Pyra. I forget, yeah. Okay. That's really funny. Yeah, look at that. It's unequipped. There we go. Good, we're cursed again. Okay. Things to remember for next time. All right, so we come up here, and then we go right. Mm-hmm. Okay. I kind of remember that. Right, we press on. Okay, now it's okay. Yeah, there's one way. <laughs> yes. Straight. Yep. Okay. So the to the left. Left. Yep. Yeah, because on our run back, we saw those seahorse things again. Yeah, and these are not as scary anymore. My PTSD is wearing off a little bit. We do a lot of damage now. Those guys were a death sentence for us at one point. Mm -hmm. I'd love to come back and see one of those chest beaks. Take yeah. the left fork. That's very true. These guys have a lot of defense. They do. Weird attack priority. I would have definitely attacked the one on the left. It's, I guess he had like one health or something, so it was like it doesn't make sense to overkill it by like 90, but. Yeah. You can take our MP. You die first. Yes, please. That works. All right. Very good engagement there. Um, straight. Mm-hmm. Man, 
this whole set recording session has just been a reflection of my week. Uh, I told you earlier that I lost power for like a day because uh, our neighbor's tree like fell on a power line. Now, what made it fall over? Was it just weather? Was it old? Did they cut it down? Yeah, we, we had a storm where I live, and it wasn't like... I didn't think it was that bad, but I guess it was bad enough. But uh, we had a storm come through not too long ago that was really bad, so... Um, was that the one while we were recording? There was a lot yes. of thunder? Yeah, that was a lot worse. So I think it maybe just weakened it. Um, but yeah, knocked out my power and my internet... <laughs> Which is also why, uh, now it's, like, a good chunk past that by the time you guys hear this, but I was, like, a lot later than normal responding to comments because I just didn't have power, so I was, I was like, conserving everything. Because it's like, you know, I don't know when I'm gonna get to charge my phone next or things like that. Uh, left up here? Yes. No. Right. No, right, right up here. Okay. Sorry, yeah. Right up here. The uh, map is and then needed to get yep through the MP drain. Okay, because to go through go around that passageway is going to add like yeah. So take the left. Going around the MP passage is going to give us a ton of of extra battles, and we just don't need them right now. We would use more MP than just five. Right. There we go. I assume they have diesel. I assume so too. I appreciate that we have not had to find out. Yes. Man, for a minute, I was gonna... Like, I thought that that was just what this upper labyrinth was gonna be. Constant D-Souls? Yeah. Yeah, that our was not first, a good start. Yeah, our first experience was that. So, I was just like, oh man, if this is the entrance to, like, the end game, I don't know... <laughs> What the rest of it's gonna be? Just by himself. Well, it's kind of yeah. It's like the pirate, the paralyzed. The paralyzed was effect effectively a group D soul. Yeah, that's true. We gotta we gotta watch out for that. Uh, now what? You're gonna take the left, okay. and then go to the left. Yep. Yeah. Um. I think we just... How about Blaze 4? I was about to suggest the same thing. Yeah. Okay. We're moving our spawn point, so... I'm not trying to just make it as far as possible. We don't need to conserve things quite so bad. Yeah, I agree. And that worked incredibly well. Yeah, the zombies seem to be weak to fire. That's a first in this game. Uh, left or right? Uh... It'll be, it should be a le right. Left should be a dead end, oh, yeah. Yep. The fake out. In general, it seems like this particular level of the labyrinth is not all that convoluted. There's really only one way to go most of the time. There's dead yeah. ends, but there's not like branching paths. Uh, left or straight? Straight. Left will take you to a chest we've already opened. Okay. Boom. Ooh, pirate took a lot there. Oh, my other levels. Um, do we know what IQ does? Oh, diesel level two, okay. Interesting. No, I don't know what IQ does. Um, my And boost my, level two. Ooh, my gut would say that it would be something to the effect of improving magic defense or maybe accuracy of spells. I was thinking but, magic defense, but yeah, that's yeah. just my guess. Because that's also not something that is in any of the other shining games, as far as I know. No, I don't think so. Um, certainly not in Shining Force One or Two. Okay, so we go left. Yes. Okay. Yeah, because that was where we got the rope. Mm-hmm. Straight? No, you're going to take this right and go straight, straight. all the way down. 
All right, let's do the slow this time. I agree. There we go. I always skip over. What is the slow icon? Oh, it's a ball and chain. Yeah, I was going to say, you and Daniel figured that out while playing that original boss rush map. To me, it just looks like one of the earrings from Dragon Ball. Yeah, the Vatara earring. I totally see that. Ah, oh, there we go. That was a good way to deal with that. I need to remember that. Attack 4, defense 1. Attack 4 is pretty good. Yeah, I think he gets that almost every level. A hero just gets a lot of attack and no defense, which is frustrating. Yeah, but he gets HP, which yes. I guess counts yes, as little. So this okay, is so going to be... Take the left. Okay. Yeah, I love Dragon Ball. Like, I'm, I'm behind on Super, but I've watched every, or watched or read everything up uh, to the end of uh, the big tournament arc in Super. That's when Blue first makes its appearance, right? Yes. Yeah, I've never watched any of Super, but I'm vaguely aware. I remember when that episode first aired, like it was all over the internet, right? Oh my I think, gosh, uh, there was a Blue form. The end of that, there's a another form. Okay. So we go down here and take a right. I think. Yeah. Yeah, that's correct. I lost steam with the whole show at around probably the end of the Cell Saga. Um, I remember watching the original, original uh, dub that played on Toonami, and it only went through halfway through the Frieza Saga. The last episode was the episode where Goku arrived. And it's really, really funny. I vividly remember I watched the episode, because I was, you know, seven or eight at the time, and then it looped back over to the first episode of the show again. Oh, man. And I had never seen the first episode of the show. Oh, I, okay. I had started watching it sometime in. So, like, I knew who Vegeta was, but I didn't know who Raditz was. And so when Raditz showed up, and I remember I had seen his character in, like, commercials and stuff, I was like, did I miss an episode? Like, who's this guy? This Oh, wow. Where, where, where'd everything go? Like, my brain just did not process that the show had just looped around. I was convinced that there had been some kind of like magical transportation away from the planet in an episode that I had missed and it took me at least one or two episodes to realize, oh no, it's just gone back to the beginning again. Oh uh, yeah, the, the problems with watching things as they're running on TV. Right. And so we watched that loop, you know, two or three more times before they finally started doing the dubs of the new episodes. And, you know, like every other kid, I remember where you, you remember where you were. Am I supposed to take the, the rope up there? No, we've already done that. Okay. You remember where you were? Oh, you know, the, the day that Goku went Super Saiyan. Like, that's just such a pivotal moment for every kid, right? Yes. Well, actually, have we done that Done that rope? Let me see real quick. Maybe oh, I'm wrong. That might be no, the we have. Okay. We don't want it. That is the Mithril, yes. So if you want to do the Mithril, that is how to do it. You're absolutely right. Yeah, we'll do that when we're not carrying our spawn point with us. Okay. Is my thought. That sounds good. I'm like in super play it safe mode right now. Yeah, I just love Dragon Ball. It's such a great world. But mm -hmm. I get running out of steam too. Um, all right, with, just all the way to the end. Okay. With Super, I was a little bit running out of steam at the end, which I guess is why, where you want to run out of steam. But I remember, like, I was trying to finish it in, like, that day, because I was behind, so I could just watch up till, you know, up till where they decided to stop for now. Um, and what did we get to? It was, like, three episodes from the end or something that, uh... I, it seems like there's one big bad left, and I'm like, excellent, you know, I can't wait to see this wrap up. And then they introduce, like, this big robot thing, and Gohan has to fight it, and I was like, I'm very tempted to just skip this episode, because, like, I just, <laughs> I'm so ready for the final conflict. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if I want to see Gohan, like, you know, fight this thing for 22 minutes. Yeah. It just felt that, like we need to get to it. 
So there was the Dragon Ball Z Kai series. Does Super need a Kai series where it cuts all that stuff down? No. I really didn't like the idea of Kai. Um, am I going the right way? Yes. Okay. Oh yeah, because yeah, we go around and then it drops us back down. Right, this is the go up to go go ahead thing. Um, yeah, I didn't like the idea of Kai. I'm like... Why not? Um, because to me the show is kind of what it is, and like... I'm not big on remakes, either. Like, I would much rather you put all that time, attention, and money into something new for me to watch than remake something that I've already seen. Um, so kind of same concept, because if you don't know, like, for viewers that don't know, um, Kai was just a remake of the original Dragon Ball, but, like, sort of abr the abridged version. Like, we're only gonna show you the highlights, um, cause yeah, Dragon Ball does get a little bit too long-winded. Um, but to me, that's just kinda what the show is, and yeah, I would, I would rather have them put that, all of that into something else. Cause, like... There's things that aren't in the manga, so yeah, it's maybe closer to, like, the author a little bit, but there's also, like, I would never want to watch or read an abridged book, because it's like, oh yeah, let me just skip over all those things that you had. Like, if, if you like something, why not have more of it, I guess? Is it right here? It is... Sorry. Um, no, I don't think so. Okay. I think right should be a dead end. Double check, unless I'm I may be a step behind now. I can view if you need me to. Yeah, let's oh, just do that. Oh, right. item found great flail. Is that what? That we're... may. Yeah, I think so. That's what we're using for him, isn't it? You can check real quick, but yes, yes, it is. Okay, cool. well, that's a pretty good drop. Uh, oh, that's oh, dead end. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so now you're going to take the right yeah. and hook around that corner there. So yeah, Kai was just not not for me. Because um, also, like, the filler arcs in Dragon Ball, I think, are fun. So I've never seen Kai. I kind of assumed you're talking about in, in Super, you're getting tired of the, the battles taking so long. I kind of assumed that's what Kai would do, but I guess not. All right, all the way to the end. Yeah. All the way to the end, and there's our fountain. Okay, item... What do we do? Use it? Yes, use the medallion. Okay. All right. So, I think for we're we're close to the end here. I think we just grind some on floor four. That sounds good. And other than the fact that we'll be missing some money, I don't really think that we care. And when I look at what we're what we have left to buy. I also don't know that I care, because I'm looking at, like, what is there left to pick up? There is... Let's see. We've got to get... One set of... A Mithril Helm, I guess? Let me see. We've got to get one or two Mithril Helms for Milo and Pyra, and those are, like, 10,000 each. Which we can easily afford. Right, and we need to get one or two Mithril Shields, which are 10,000 apiece. Um, okay, the main thing is going to be finding all that Mithril. Yes, right. Absolutely. And if we get to that point, we can. The, the only way to get it is to get it as drops from some enemies. I don't remember which enemies. Okay. But there will be a point, and I won't, I won't spoil, where we will come to that it makes sense for us to do that. Okay. So, for right now, I'm just going to map out more of this. This is the loop, I think, from last time. That sounds right. So, yeah, I'll just map out more. And uh, we'll, we'll get lost to see what we can find, because I'm not using a map or anything at this point. Perfect. Let's see. But yeah, Dragon Ball is one that I would recommend you read more than watch, I think. Just in general. It loses a lot of its humor. I've read a little bit of the manga, and I, I do remember that, like, you know, it's it's a little bit more inappropriate, a little bit more, like, adult humor, but, like, the, the show doesn't replace that with more childlike humor. It just removes the humor altogether. Yes. 
I usually am someone that prefers manga over anime anyway, though. Mm -hmm. So that's usually what I'll recommend people. Like, I know I'm going to read uh, One Piece at some point, and I know that's going to be a whole thing. Because it's so long, but it would even it would be even longer to watch it at this point. How many seasons is it? I, I don't know. It's over a thousand episodes now. Oh my gosh. So, it's like a soap opera. Yeah, I don't know how long it's going to be when it's done. I, I know the author has said, like, he's given in some checkpoints that's like, we're roughly halfway through what his, you know, what he's plotted out, so. That was a while ago, though, so I don't know where we are on that now. Oh, wait, no, we want slow. There we go. Slow seems to be the weakness for these guys. I wouldn't be surprised if it helps on a lot of enemies. I mean, either that or boost. I'm sure that like boost is probably better for bigger groups, and slow is probably better for single enemies. Maybe, because we also can do uh I can do slow too, and I think it hits groups. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's always good then. Oh come on. It's also nice that it moves them back in the attack, uh the attack order. Because mm -hmm. then they, if I can move them behind Hero, then that is a not, you know, a not insignificant amount of damage that I've just made so we don't take. Yes. Hard to overestimate the value of winning the speed tie. Yeah. Um. You know, we don't ever use that. That's a really good call, especially on these guys. I don't know if it'll help with their cries for help, but it at least stop their healing. Um, and then I want to bolt too, because I don't do that very often either. Since we're just grinding now, like I don't care. Whoa, that's a lot of damage for those guys. Let's see what screen looks like. Great. <laughs> of course. Are they just gonna heal? Oh god, these guys all are. All of them, yep. I don't think they'll heal all of them, but. They're gonna do their best to heal if they can. Uh, yeah, let's just attack and lie through him at this point. Hopefully. Yeah, they healed enough that we can't just end them like that, but. Oh, I'm surprised. Ah, oh, thank goodness. All right, now they're running out. I don't, I don't know. I'm assuming that this works. That after they've successfully called for help or healed, it like has a reduced chance to work again. I would think so. That's a good guess. Heals too. The heals don't seem to work as well on repeat use. Yeah. I'm just gonna. <laughs> I think that'll get rid of all of the necromancies. I think you're right. I love that they're just meat zombies, like... I feel like they should not be blue, though. Like, I'm picturing, like, uh... You know, Hellraiser, like... No skin on them, that kind of thing. That's quite an image. What do we get here? Man, everybody leveled from that. Huge. Freeze level four. All right. Oh, chest. My fast forward isn't working, but that's fine. You said you wanted to see a chest peak again. I mean, maybe, maybe that's what this will be. Maybe. Obviously not. One way or the other. Not the same chest peak, but. I'll make sure we're prepped. Trying to think if I saw that there were any other chest enemies. I'm sure there's at least one more. I'd be surprised if they just stopped doing that 
when we got higher up. Like, I would expect it more, if anything. Yeah, I would too. Alright, we should be ready for whatever this has. Healer fruit. Oh, okay. Just a healing seed. Mm hmm. That is much less scary, but also much less exciting. <laughs> it's interesting to me, too, they decided to change the name of that. Between Shining Force. Or Shining in the Darkness and Shining Force. Yeah, I wonder why that is. I don't know, like, what would be the reason for it to be a seed versus a fruit. Healing fruit makes a whole lot more sense than healing seed in name. Yeah. I guess maybe it looks more like seeds. Maybe that's the reason. I don't know. I don't know. It looks the same, I think. Yeah, but it's like it's it's a like a piece of cloth with some stuff in it, and like I guess it's more like berries than it is fruit. Maybe that's the only thing I can think. I guess I have no idea. I would love one day to sit down with somebody from like the dev team and just ask so many questions that no one else would care about except for maybe you guys that watched this. Just get into the really nitty gritty. They should do a like if they were still gonna do this. Like I would love a source book that like just had all of these different like. You know, talking about, like, why are there birdmen in the labyrinth here? Things like that. Like, are these rogue birdmen? Are there birdmen that are not from the same place? Like, Yeah, it's an interesting question. Like, if, if you actually forced them to answer those questions, you'd force them to think a whole lot harder about why they chose their enemies. Where, I wonder if, I mean, uh, I, I may be selling them very, very short, but... We need an enemy variety. We can't just have 50 types of slime. So what are we going to do that looks cool? Could be. Could be that we're putting way more thought into this, but... I think as the series goes on, they probably put more thought into it because there's more lore to build on, right? Probably. It's just kind of, you know, how much do you care, like, about things like continuity? Like, I don't know. That's a bigger thing, I think, these days than it used to be, mm -hmm. generally. But, uh, how much do you care about continuity and things? I'm curious. Oh, it's an interesting question. Um, I think it depends. Like, I care about continuity within a game, but game to game... I don't really care. Like, I've never been... Like, we've talked about Zelda before. I'm a big Zelda fan in mm. terms of I like games. I could not care any less about whether or not there is a continuity from game to game. I am totally fine with the idea that it's just the same story being told over and over again. But I know that's not true. They're all related. They, they all exist in the same universe. And honestly, I just get very tired. <laughs> well, here's my kind of where I'm going with that is like... Um, I think it's different in something like Zelda, where it's very clearly, like, not a continuation. Um, but, like, what about stuff that is, like, very clearly a continuation? I think in general continuity is good. I don't much care for the Dark Souls or Five Nights at Freddy's style of continuity, where they give you just enough information to feel like there's oh, probably something... New. Hot pink armor? That's cool. Yeah, I kind of like that. Um, Where they give you just enough to... Oh. Are you still there? Might have lost Captain. Yeah, you did. Oh, there I we go. I don't know what just happened there. That was really odd. Discord's uh, been acting up a lot lately. Well, they're making some interesting decisions, so... Why? What does that mean? Oh, they're adding ats. Like, Twitter. Oh, And everybody okay. needs a unique at. And, uh, I saw this interaction on their... From, like, their official devs that I thought was just horrible. Which was, like, um... Somebody said, but what if I, like, want my unique name still? And, uh, the mm. dev was like, 
well, then you could add, you know, four numbers after your name. And I think the response to that was like, yeah, it's almost like we could just do that by default for everybody and like have a whole system that worked like that. <laughs> to me, it just very much feels like a, you're trying to fix something that ain't broke. Yeah, I don't envy companies that are trying to be social media companies. Like, I feel like, not that social media is going anywhere, but it's kind of peaked, and I don't know what's going to come next. My but... enthusiasm for... Oh, we all, we got all paralyzed again. <laughs> all right. All right, let me double check that we don't get all our MP back, because I do not believe we do. Okay, we do. Well, that was about where we were going to end anyway. Next time, if I remember, we'll talk more about continuity. Because um, I am like a continuity hawk. It's super important to me. <laughs> Even I can't wait to hear more about it. Game to game, movie to movie. It's, it's very important to me. Um, which some people might go, Oh, The Shining World is setting you up for mass disappointment. But I'm like, I'm willing to squint a little bit. Like... If it can be explained away off screen somehow, I'll squint a little bit to make it work. Um, but I think that'll do it for this time. Uh, you guys wanted more rough episodes, I guess, and man, did we give you a pair that, that was rough today. Uh, just a lot of backtracking and things not going our way, but that's okay. That's definitely what this is about. Um, in one of our runbacks, Captain was like, you know, I think this is going too efficiently and too well. I'm happy to have balanced it out. Yes. For sure. And now I have a new enemy to get PTSD over these snake things. We definitely need a new strategy next time. Yes, we do. And I don't know what it is. Because in that, none of us were paralyzed. And I guess the dice roll just hit it where uh, we got totally paralyzed in one round of combat. So my thought is with those guys, we might just need to spam MP and just kill them. Because essentially they have, like you said, diesel again. Mm -hmm. So I think that's going to be the what what our strategy is. But we'll decide next time. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Um, let me know uh, if you if you liked this episode, and we will see you in the next one.